Why and slow down? No one will eat your food. He said looking at you. John, you know I can't control myself when I'm in front of the food. So, <laughs> you said while eating to your best friend. Hmm, okay, you will come to today evening party, right? He asked you. Can you pass me some kimchi? You asked smiling as he gave it. You are a foodie. He said smiling as he smiled. Yes, a foodie. I don't get vain how much I eat the food. You said smiling. I am jealous. Anyways, you are coming to party, right? He asked you as you nodded. Of course, without me, the party will be plain. As you both started laughing. School bell rang. Let us go to class, he said as he nodded, leaving with him. Thankfully, today last class is swimming class and teacher is also absent, he said smiling. Okay class, your teacher is absent but all you must practice swimming now, she said as everyone got annoying. What? I thought as teacher is absent we could play but no, we must practice as always. He said sadly. Vyan, I will teach you swimming. He said as he nodded. We changed our clothes and was about to practice. But suddenly I saw it. Meena, my classmate, was struggling to swim. I see no one was with her to teach her. John, can you teach Meena swimming as she is struggling? I know basics of swimming, you said to him. But I always see her alone. I think she likes to be alone, he said looking at you. John, she is an introvert person. She also wants to make friends, but it is little difficult for her. No one in this world likes to be alone. So go and help her, you said as he went towards her. Meena, as you are struggling to swim, I will teach you swimming, he said sparking as she started to move backwards. Mark, no need. Everyone in this class know you are a prey boy and don't know swimming. So leave before I call the teacher. He warned him as he left. As Mark left, my heart was beating fast seeing my long time crush, John, so close to me. Every time I see him from far away, as now he is close to me, I was all red. Meena, I'll teach you swimming, he said as he made eye contact with her as she looked away shyly. As I'm seeing John teaching Meena to swim, I thought how secretly heard him saying he likes me. I always thought John only as my best friend, nothing more. He wanted to be close to me but I think him only as a best friend. I don't want to hurt his feeling and one day Meera found my earrings which my mom gave me before she passed away. I was so thankful to Meena 
for it so i thanked her but i wanted to do more so i told john to teach her to swim so she will not be alone i gave little distance to john to give up his feelings for me i will john will get someone who truly loves him and for mina to get someone who will never leave her alone you said smiling as class got over we went to our house i took a nap and got ready to the party i was having some difficulty to choose dresses but finally i got ready and left As I entered the party I saw John waving at me to come to him so I went towards him enjoying the party we started to dance while eating the delicious food I thought to confess my feeling to Wayne as I was about to but suddenly I saw Mina unconscious why is she here I walked towards her checking if she all right John you are here take me to the house she said hugging him tightly i can't leave meena here unconscious and i can't leave wayan too i will drop meena home first as she is unconscious then i will take wayan home he thought leaving with meena How dare you kill my men? I will not leave you," he said as he both started shooting each other. As we both are injured, I am leaving now, and I will take my revenge from you. Mark my words," he said and left. Where is John? I search all the place, but he is not here. Did he left? I can't contact him as my battery is in zero percent. It is getting late, so I left the party. As I was riding my cycle to home, but suddenly someone came in front of me. We got accident. I got from my cycle and went to check the person who was unconscious. OMG, Vyan, you hit someone with your cycle. I can't leave him here alone. I must take him to my home. I have no choice. Because of me he got wounded. I brought the injured man home with me. I am forced to do because of me he got wounded. I made him lie on my bed, slowly treating his wound fully. As I was treating his wound while he is unconscious, why is there so many wound in his body? He got wounded because I hit him by cycle or something else. As I was thinking, suddenly he opened his eyes. I bought you here because you got hit by my cycle and got wounded. So now I finished it treating your own. You can leave now. You said, looking at him. Because of you, I got wounded badly, and now you are telling me to leave. I will not leave this house till I fully recovered. He said, looking at you. I know you got wounded because of my cycle. I'm sorry and treated your wound, but I can't leave a stranger to stay at my house. Leave now, you said to him. Where are we strangers? My name is Jungkook and yours name is Wayan, as said by your school ID card. I will not leave this place till I fully recover from my injury. He said looking at you. Okay as i made the mistake 
I'll I must take responsibility. So you can stay here till you fully recover. You said, signing heavily. Hmm. I'm hungry. Bring something to eat. Ah, my hand hurts. You gave him a stare and went to bring food. As she left, I'm a mafia. I got injured not because of Wayne but my enemy. Someone in my gang betrayed me. I need this place to hide to find who is the betrayer. Wayne is interesting. He said sparking.